guys, welcome back to my channel, guys. So today we're gonna be reading a book called How Long or How Wide? A Measuring Guide. This book is gonna be all about length, so hopefully you guys pay attention. And just so you guys know what length is. The distance from one end of something to the other. Okay guys, let's start off. A table, a teacher. A building or creature. A stuffed teddy bear that you've treasured. What size are they all? The big and the small. Each one of these things can be measured. Length answers the riddle for large things or little. How long or how tall or how wide is that swing? Or your ring or a dinosaur wing or the ladder that leads to the slide? One inch looks like this and it's easy to miss because of its very small size. But it shows us its might when it helps tell the height of the trees that reach up to the skies. 12 inches together make one foot. So whether you measure a desk or a door, each 12 inch long line is a definite sign that you've measured another foot more and see this it's cool inches live on this tool it's a measuring stick called a ruler a 12 inch collection one foot of perfection the right size for every grade schooler now three of these feet should they line up and meet together are what's called one yard that's 36 inches and here's what the cinch is that's also three feet it's not hard. If you measure your bed in the yardstick headset that your headboard's exactly three feet, you could say that the height is one yard. And you're right, or 36 inches. How neat. You see on the blackboard, it says three feet equals one yard equals 36 inches. And that's what the teacher is showing. It's really quite wise when you're measuring size to know more than only one system. The terms here are fun, and before we are done, you'll surely be able to list them. You see, there's English and metric. Like, English is like, English means like in the USA, you know, all the things are measured differently. In USA, you would say miles, but in like all, all around the world, they use metric, metric measurements, which is like, um, they would use kilometers kilometers in like here in usa they use just one mile it's different that's english one mile and then metric is kilometers okay so this is millimeters it's nearly as thin as a needle or a pin one inch holds almost 26 put your face really near that's the whole thing right here it's smaller than most fleas and ticks centimeter Take your fingers and pinch less than half of one inch. A dime would quite easily hide one. As small as it is, when you're asked on a quiz, there are 10 millimeters inside one. A bit less than four inches, really no more, there are 10 centimeters tucked in. A hundred would be the amount you would see all of the millimeters within it. Just how tall is Peter? He's all off one meter. It's a little bit more than one yard. Or you could say Peter's just 10 decimeters. And watch as your paper is starred. So, how can you tell just how tall is that bell? How wide is your thermos or cooler? Now it's a pleasure because you can measure, which makes you the ultimate ruler. So what is length? Do you know? Okay guys, so here it shows just a small like it just shows a small table of English measurements, just like I told you guys before, if you guys know. And then there's also metric length measurements. So in this, it doesn't talk about miles and kilometers, but it does things. So, like, it says, if you guys cannot read this, if it's too small for you guys, I'm just going to read it. So it says, so it says, one yard equals three feet equals 36 inches. One foot equals 12 inches. One meter equals 10 decimeters equals 100 centimeters equals 1,000 millimeters. 1 centimeter equals 10 millimeters. So these are things you guys can have. I have this activity for you guys. So if you guys want to try it out, the activity is you guys put like the question in the front, like how much is one yard? So you put one yard in the front of a flashcard or a piece of paper, which you divided. You want to put the like the thing you're asking, like how much is one yard in the front? 
and then on the back you write the answer like one yard is three feet and then you could you can also add if you guys want to it's which equals 36 inches we, so if you guys want to add that okay guys so that's what the activity can be if you guys want it okay guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video this was so cool that you learned about length and i hope you guys paid attention because i have some questions for you and just because you know all the questions right now doesn't mean you shouldn't remember them in the rest of your life because you'll be using these things not just right now but like later on okay guys so the first question is what is length what is length do you guys know the second question is what all measurements have been mentioned in the story do you guys know how what all the measurements that were in the story mentioned and my last question is how many inches makes one foot how many inches does it make to one foot okay guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video smash that like button subscribe if you guys want more of these educational videos and i'll see you guys next time